to Boyd and Gunnar in the house back with another bang on video where ladies and gentlemen bigger news for you guys you know Arsenal have actually started their training in the London Colony and I have got some important images for you guys number one we've got Gabriel Martinelli yes he's uh, well he's grown a lot of hair and that is unbelievable isn't it but not only that we have seen Kieran Tierney and Hector Bellerin actually making those sprints in the training so we are definitely going to see a real improvement in our performance levels when these two are f at full fitness. In the absence of fully fit, first choice fullbacks, the midfield hasn't been adventurous enough. Too much focus on covering spaces. Now that's about to change and I cannot wait to see these two guys actually make it through. Moving on. Well, here's the biggest news. UEFA press on with plans to launch Europa League 2 next year. Teams who are knocked out of the Europa League at the qualifying playoff or knock knock knockout stages will be involved and in that actually it is scheduled to be played on Thursday evenings with the winners qualifying for the following season's Europa League so you you know if even if we lose we definitely do have a chance probably if we are out of the Europa League well move it on Matteo Ganduzi posted this on his uh, official Twitter account so happy to be back at training with my new amazing boots Adidas Arsenal unbelievable isn't it well, also, the boss is back as well. Well, I ho well he looks really, really uh, fit. And he looks... I, th I think this is the first time I saw him on the pitch after that, uh, you know, being infected from coronavirus. And he looks happy. And I'm really happy to see him happy. Well, moving on. Saint Etienne central defender Wesley Fafana is in the sights of Arsenal and Everton, but more of AC Milan as well. Well, Baird Leno posted this. Feels so good to be back at the rate Arsenal and that's really great to see him back again also talking about Fafana Arsenal have expressed interest in signing Saint Etienne centre-back Wesley Fafana the player would be keen on a move to England Everton, Everton are also interested but Fafana does not hide the fact that he wants to stay in Saint Etienne for at least one more season to continue his training with a coach who trusts him fully before leaving for London I'm sorry, before leaving for England, his preferred destination, William Saliba also signed a new deal before signing for Arsenal. So this could be something similar to what Arsenal did with William Saliba. Well, actually, Saint Etienne extended Fafana's contract until 2024 last month, but their financial situation could force them to sell the player this summer. Well, let's see how that will turn out. Well, Premier League Chief Executive Richard Masters insists they are confident about restarting in June, he said the Prem would be flexible about a restart date, having previously targeted June 12th after the coronavirus pandemic halted the action. He says, there is some momentum. We've taken the first step. It's great for everybody, including the fans, to see our players back on the training ground. He said that the Prem would learn from the Bundesliga's return last weekend, which went smoothly despite being behind closed doors. Master said uh, that British football could even be played out to empty stands until next year. Shocked fans have been teasing Arsenal skipper Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's lockdown hairstyle as well, but three Premier League clubs are interested in having cardboard cutouts in empty stands when top flight football returns. Well, it is understood that, you know, behind the new stay at home, be at the game project, well, they have held talks with the club officials that two sides in the top half of the table are about to adopt the concept. If those discussions prove successful, then £20 is you know, recyclable and waterproof cutouts could be placed in stadiums when the Premier League resumes in June. Some of the money, well, raised will be donated to the NHS in the fight against coronavirus. Top US sporting bodies like the NBA and MLS have also shown an interest as international sport looks set to return behind closed doors in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. It is the brainchild of the ingenious German superfan Inge Miller who has organized almost 14,000 cutouts of fans and season ticket holders for his beloved Borussia Mönchengladbach. It will go live to the world when the Bundesliga side face by Leverkusen at the Borussia Park on Saturday afternoon. Well, moving on. Ex-Arsenal left-back Guy Clichy has slated that the Gunners for too many leaking too many goals. He says, even today's team, they have that quality to score four goals in 10 minutes. Don't ask me why Arsenal have always been able to do this, but they can also, even today, concede goals for fun. Yes, he's he's not wrong. <laughs> he's definitely not wrong. Well, moving on. Arsenal centre-back Scott Rand Mustafi is being linked with AC Milan despite his improved form under Mikel Arteta. Well, it is claimed that the Germany star 
is not part of Arsenal's long-term plan and they say that the 28-year-old is on a list of rear guard targets for Serie A giants AC Milan who are worried about their poor defensive record. Well, moving on. Well, Mino Raiola is working on transferring Mkhitaryan to Roma permanently. Watch out, he could end up in negotiations involving an exchange with Justin Clivert, who does not fully convince Paolo Fonseca. Moving on, David Luiz says, I want to end my career at Benfica, but I don't know when. The dream is to step on Estudio La Daluz uh, with the Benfica jersey again. It will be one of the most exciting days of my life. Well, moving on. Supporters will be entitled to a credit or refund for many for any match tickets or hospitality they have already purchased for future behind closed door matches in the 2019-2020 season. Also, AC Milan actually would want Scott and Mustafi because probably uh, the, uh, the asking price would be somewhere around 10 million euros, an affordable figure for Elliott management. The German international is not part of Mikel Arteta's plans for the long term. William is likely to be a free agent in the summer. His family is settled in London and he wants to remain there. Arsenal is a very realistic option for William and a deal can get through the connections of agent Kia Jurabshian, Edu Gaspar and definitely, definitely David Luiz. Well, Mikel Arteta looked as perky and healthy as ever as Arsenal boss confirmed both his own recovery from coronavirus and the return of serious training. Well, uh, the Spaniards' positive COVID-19 test in March was the trigger for the suspension of football across the country. But Arteta oversaw from a distance stars like David Luiz, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, and Scott Al Mustafi doing strictly controlled, socially distanced practice sessions. Well, let's see how that will turn out for them. These were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. Also, Bayern Munich will spark more talk of Philippe Coutinho returning to the Premier League by declining to pay a £110 million option to buy the Barcelona playmaker. Chelsea, Manchester United, Arsenal and even old club Liverpool have been linked with the Brazilian star, although financial restraints due to the coronavirus pandemic make a summer transfer less likely. Karl Heinz Rummenigge says the option expired and we haven't activated it. Now we are going to draw up squad planning internally for the next season and we'll see if he still has a role to play with us or not. That's a big thing because Arsenal are chasing Ajax star Nicolas Tagliafico in a £20 million deal. Well, these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Came your way. All the views and news and everything about Arsenal comes on this platform every single day, twice. So sit back, relax and enjoy whatever's coming your way because we can bring this news even though there's a pandemic. Arsenal news is definitely going to hit you twice. So please help to reach uh, the, the to increase the reach of this uh, uh, beautiful channel to 5,000 subscribers as soon as possible. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers.